Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Suthar and today we are continuing with the topic set theory and basically this is the third part of this topic. Now in this today's session we will discuss cardinality of a set, a principle of inclusion and exclusion. Okay. Now first uh, let us understand the example based on the previous session that is the Venn diagram. Now the question is using Venn diagram show that this A union B bar intersection C equals to a union B bar intersection A union C. We need to show this using Venn diagram. Okay. So first what we'll do, we will uh, draw some of the Venn diagrams. Okay. So the first step, the first step, what we, uh, what is the first step? That is for left hand side, we need uh, B bar intersection C. So for that first, what is B bar? So see, uh, we have three sets A, B, C. Okay. Now B bar, so uh, except all this, this all is just shaded part that is B bar. So this is the B bar. Now next step, we will find this B bar intersection C. So the second step will be this. Uh, this is the B bar hole and intersection with C, that is this C. So what will be the intersection? It will be this shaded part. So this is, so this is B bar intersection C. And the third step, we will find this hole, okay. So that is uh, A union this portion. So that means this portion union A. So what will be it? It will be like this. So this this is the left hand side. Now again same manner we will write uh, we will draw for the right hand side. So for right hand side the first step. Now we have already calculated B bar. Now A union B bar. So that means A union B bar. So this is B bar union this A portion. Okay. So that means this portion will be added. So that is this shaded part that is A union B bar and next step we will calculate A union C. So that is very easy. So that is A union C. So this will be the A union C and final uh, we will find this hole. So it will be like this and you can see that both the uh, ident uh, both the Venn diagrams are same. So that means it is proved. Now let us discuss some basic uh, identities. Now let capital A, B, C be uh, any subsets of set capital X. Okay, then the first law uh, that is idempotent laws. So that is uh, this E union A equals to A and this A intersection A equals to itself A. So that is the idempotent law. Now what is the commutative law? Now see uh, this A union B equals to B union A. So that means you can change the order. Okay, then next. A intersection B equals to B intersection A. Then next this distributive law. Now what is that? This A intersection B union C equals to A intersection B union A intersection C. So that means we can distribute uh, from this uh, that is intersection. So A intersection B union A intersection C. And in same manner if we change the order of this union and intersection this will be the second law. Then what is the De Morgan's law? So that is this A union B whole dash. So that means A union B whole complement equals to A dash intersection B dash. And in same manner, if we change the order of intersection and union, so that means A intersection B dash equals to A dash union B dash. Then next, what is the absorption law? So the first one is A union A intersection B. So as uh, its name suggests, that is the absorption, okay. So this whole uh, A absorbing this A intersection B. So if we take A union with A intersection B. So A is absorbing this A intersection B and final answer will be A itself. And in same manner this A intersection A union B will be A. So it is absorbing this A union B. Then double complement law. So uh, as uh, its name suggests it is it contains double complement. So that means A dash of whole dash that is A. Now cardinality of a finite set. Now see cardinality of a finite set it is the number of distinct elements in the set. Fine. So cardinality of a set it is denoted by this n of a or this uh, modulus of a. For example if we have a equals to set of all x such that 2 less than x less than 10. So this is the set builder form. So what will be the cardinality of a? So the cardinality will be 7. How? See, this uh, set contains how many elements and which are they? So the set contains uh, elements from 3 to 9. So it will be 7. 
Now let us discuss important topic that is principle of inclusion and exclusion. Now what is that? What is the statement? Now if we take two sets, so that means this cardinality of A union B, it is same as cardinality of A plus cardinality of B minus cardinality of A intersection B. And in same manner, if we take three sets, so cardinality of A union B union C. So that is cardinality of A plus mod B plus mod C minus A intersection B minus uh, cardinality of B intersection C minus cardinality of A intersection C plus uh, A intersection B intersection C. Okay, we will we'll use. Okay, now why it is called inclusion and exclusion? Because see, you can see that here uh, we have included some portion and excluded some portion and in same manner we have included this three, uh, three terms then excluded three terms and again included uh, one term. So that is why it is called inclusion and exclusion. Let us uh, discuss example based on this. So the question is consider a set of integers from 1 to 250. Okay, then find how many of these numbers are divisible by 3 or 5 or 7 and also uh, indicate how many are divisible by 3 or 5 but not by 7. So we will use this uh, inclusion and exclusion principle. So first uh, let capital ABC denote the set of integers from 1 to 250 that is divisible by 3, 5 and 7 respectively. So that means this A denote uh, uh, integers from 1 to 250 divisible by 3 and in same manner for B 5 and for C 7. Now see a uh, cardinality of A it will be what is A it is divisible by 3. So that means we have numbers from 1 to 250 so integer part 250 by 3 now see uh, this is the integer part so 250 by 3 that is 83 point something so we'll just use this integer part so that is 83 in same manner this cardinality of b will be 250 by 5 so that is 50 it is the perfect number then same manner this cardinality of c that is 250 by 7 so that is 35 now what is a intersection b so a intersection b means what uh, divisible by uh, this 3 as well as divisible by 5 so that is 250 divided by 3 into 5 that is 16 now what is A intersection C that is 250 by 3 into 7 that is 11 B intersection C that is cardinality of B intersection C that is 7 uh, and last A intersection B intersection C that is divisible by 3 and 5 and 7 and that is 1 so now by principle of inclusion and exclusion this A union B union C and what does that mean uh, numbers which are divisible by 3 or 5 or 7 and that is what we are finding. So this is the formula A plus B plus C A intersection B B intersection C A intersection C plus a uh, whole intersection ok. So if we substitute all these values we will get A union B union C and that is 135. Now uh, the second question is divisible by 3 or 5 but not by 7 so that means just consider a union b union c minus this whole c that is cardinality of c uh, that will be the final answer uh, so 135 we have already calculated 135 minus the c portion that is 35 and that is the 100 how c uh, divisible by 3 or 5 so that means 3 uh, a and b so this portion 3 or 5 so that is this a union b and but not by 7 so that means we need to cut this whole c okay so that will be this final answer that is 100 thank you